Disney reboot round goes to the Predator. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to shave. Okay, well, I guess everyone gets to enjoy that. Yeah, so Alien Romulus. Here's a movie that's fine and a year full of movies that have been fine. In an unusual change of pace, this is probably the first of the Alien movies to be good, but not that interesting, whereas a lot of the Alien movies are bad, but at least interesting. Which, to be clear, is me saying that this is kind of pretty good, but also you forget about it almost immediately after watching it, except for the parts that are bad, which come right at the end and are actually really kind of bad. Like, in a movie that's made almost entirely out of recycling parts of the other Alien movies, I'm not exactly sure why you would decide to and I won't go and spoil it, don't worry. I'm not sure why you would go and decide to borrow one of the things that almost everyone agrees is one of the worst things anyone tried to do in an Alien movie. I mean, maybe they were setting themselves up for a challenge, in which case, okay, I respect going for it, but this didn't work the last time, was probably never gonna be a good idea, let's try it again. Anyway, the rest of the movie is basically pretty much fine. For those trying to keep track of where we are in the Alien movie timeline anymore, uh, I don't know why anyone bothers, but in this case, we are here in a film set between Alien and Aliens, in what breaks down as essentially a movie adaptation of a hypothetical Alien theme park ride. You know, one of those ones like the Terminator walkthrough at Universal Studios where it's sort of an original plot with sort of original characters, some of whom are embodied by the people on the ride and or Haunted House walkthrough where it's kind of an original story but mostly just stuff that you saw in the other movies remixed into something that can happen all together, only the quote-unquote good parts in a short form, exciting thrill ride kind of thing. Nominally, a bunch of college-age kids on a Wyland yutani mining colony sneak themselves onto a derelict space station where the company has been hiding all of the easter eggs, literal and figurative, from the previous Alien movies up to this point, which is actually made of two space stations combined into one, the Romulus and the Remus, one of which is sort of a science station reminiscent of the first Alien, and the other one of which is more of a military station reminiscent of Aliens which is about the level of cleverness that this movie aspires to. Anyway, in the process of turning the thing back on so that they can loot the stuff that they're trying to loot, they wake up a bunch of xenomorphs and facehuggers and get chased around by them until they stop being chased around by them. There are cool jump scares and cool fight scenes. The whole thing was directed by Fede Alvarez, who did the Evil Dead remake and Don't Breathe. Pretty much the guy you want to call for this sort of movie where the goal is to be very derivative but look good while doing it. And since we are just kind of taking a walking tour of the previous Alien movies in the timeline up to this point in the quote-unquote continuity, uh, when it's doing Alien and Aliens, it looks pretty cool and is a lot of fun. But since Ridley Scott is involved as a producer, eventually it has to start bringing up Prometheus and Covenant, at which point it stops being good and fun and gets a little tedious. Fortunately, that doesn't really happen until it's most of the way over, so you have a good time for most of the movie. I know it sounds like I'm being kind of down on this one, and it is a little bit disappointing, I won't lie, for a series that has, again, always been interesting, even when it's not good, to basically make a theme park ride movie. And, you know, fine. I get the sense that that's what a lot of people do want out of this franchise. They just want to see the Xenomorph chase people around the space station. And I will give Alvarez credit, because while there isn't a lot going on under the hood in this movie, or most of the other films that he's directed, he does deliver on this stuff, and also doesn't go stupidly over the top and just make a highlight reel. He really does get what makes the other Alien movies work when they're good. The Xenomorphs are still mostly shadow monsters jumping out of the backgrounds. We don't get gratuitous, overdone CGI just because we can do everything. We should do everything business with them. The characters themselves are mostly disposable slasher movie cannon fodder, which is, again, disappointing compared to the good Alien movies, but it works here. A lot of this is stock and chase stuff. We see the Xenomorphs when we need to see them. For the record, I am still the guy who is annoyed that the alien has an official name. I do prefer to just call it The Alien. It's more fun, but fine. Xenomorph. 
when it's time to switch over and do aliens and shoot them with machine guns, we get really one big action scene of that, and it is a cool action scene, but it doesn't overindulge it. There are some dumb callback stuffs. Yes, they do the big quote money lines from the other movies. When they pull out the guns that the Colonial Marines use, someone does have to say, oh, it's like the Colonial Marines use. You know, at times it's like watching that old Chris Farley show sketch where someone is going, hey, hey, yeah, uh, you, you remember that time you were in Aliens? That was awesome. But that is about the movie that this aspires to, and it's a good version of that. Is it as good as Prey was, where they took Predator, a much more simple, basic concept than Alien was always, and remixed it into a much better version of almost every other Predator sequel? No, no, it's not better than that. Prey was a better movie than this. Prey was a better movie than most of the Predator sequels and most of the Alien sequels. Uh, but Romulus basically aspires to fine, and for the most part, it's fine until it gets around to act three and remembers oh by the way prometheus was a thing and then it becomes about the prometheus movies and then it sucks like the prometheus movies but until then pretty good i feel like it gets bad enough in act three to warrant taking it down to a five i don't want to take it down to a five because the technical craftsmanship and the aliens chasing people around stuff actually is good enough to get it up to being a fun watch so call it a six uh, yeah, check it out. If you've been absolutely starved for alien stuff, it will satisfy that. I feel like I really would have rather gone on the ride that this feels like it was based on, but until someone gets the balls up to make an alien movie with something to say that isn't monumentally stupid like Prometheus was, uh, I feel like this is as good as we're going to get. So uh, thank goodness for small favors. Guys, I also had to watch Borderlands, so I'm in, like, a mood to be generous. And I will review that at some point, but for now, yeah. Uh, 6 out of 10, give it a look.